What is up, Humanoid Nation? Today's podcast, the first podcast, we'll be reviewing NXT Deadline. It just finished, so here are my thoughts and review on it. I came in 10 minutes late for this thing because I thought the pre-show was still going on. And I said, fuck that. I ain't watching that. So I came in like 10 minutes in when they're doing the Iron Survivor Series Challenge. I was completely confused on the goddamn rules. So it's like this match is consistent of a certain man. It's like a Royal Rumble Survivor Series with Iron Man. With the scramble match and the king of the mountain all in one match. It was a king of the mountain thing was like instead of going up the ladder and pinning the strapping the thing on the hook, go into the penalty box. This one is you get pinned and you go into the penalty box. So the first match, women's iron survivors series challenge McGilly Cutting Rule. You got Cora Jade in the heart roll. Uh What's her name? Zoe Stark, Roxanne Perez, and I think, um, what was that one girl that didn't get anything? So, uh, Kiana James. Don't know who that is, but Kiana didn't get any pins during this uh, entire match. Everybody else did get stomp, something. So, uh, Indy Hartwell won? Or was it Roxanne Perez? Oh, oh my god, this just happened. Roxanne Perez won that shit. Alright, good match. I like it. I just came in late and confused, so... <laughs> I would give it, like, out of... I don't know. It was really confusing. I came in ten minutes late. But yeah, Roxanne Perez, the former Roxy from Rock of Honor. Rock of Honor? Ring of Honor. I am dumb. So she wins for a future title shot for an NXT Women's Championship. Next up, oh my god, I totally blocked this out of my memory. Alba Fire versus Isla Dawn. I had to go and get my food. And when I came back, the match was over. And I was watching this with friends and they told me like, you missed the dumbest shit ever. They told me like, ugh. I can't even sit. Isla touches the referee on the leg. The referee starts puking black stuff and convulsing on the ground. Another ref comes out and counts to one, two, three. What? That was the entire match. Isla Dawn. Touches a referee. And he gets sick. Isla Dawn. Touches a referee's pants. No skin involved. And he gets sick. Huh. Okay. Alrighty then. Hmm. Next match. Pretty Deadly, which I call Lenny and L the Brit British version of Lenny and Lodi from WCW versus The New Day. Really interesting match. They had a torque off in the middle of the ring. All four of them twerked. It was hilarious. NXT, uh, The New Day did some, uh, some moves that Jason David Frank did, like some kicks and shit. That was really good, what they did. Really good tribute. Ha! Huh. But yeah, I wasn't expecting for New Day to win. New Day wins, so they're Grand Slam champions now? Grand Slam... Am I having a fucking stroke? Grand Slam champion. Yes. So, they're doing a Dolph Ziggler thing where he comes, they come in, win the belts, have it for a while, lose the belt, and... Then go back to the main roster. So yeah, they're building up the tag team in NXT. Because like, what do they have in NXT? They got Pretty Deadly, the the, 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 the Creed Brothers. They have the, uh, the um, uh, Grizzled Young Veterans. And that's all I can think of. 
Not much of a tag team up in here. Yeah. But yeah, them doing the twerking was something else. Men's Iron Survivor Series match was next. You got Grayson Waller, J.D. McDonough. I'm just going to call him Jordan Devlin. I can't say that last name. Carmelo Hayes, Joe Gacy, and Grayson Waller. No, wait. Axiom. The guy who does math problems. He figures it out doing math. The former A-Kid. Really great match back and forth. All of them get like three points each except for um, Jordan Devlin who got his ass kicked the entire time, which was kind of funny. Uh, at the end, Carmelo, no. Grayson Waller gets one extra point and then wastes for the next 30 seconds. He just runs around trying not to do stuff and like gets other people out the ring. And that's a great thing that they did like. That was entertaining, like, wasting 30 seconds by running around. I liked it. It was pretty fun. So Grayson Waller, he's gotten better because, like, when he first started, like, he was really bland. But he's gotten better is all I got to say. And the last match. Oh, and also they had, like, a promo package for a, what's her feigned name? Tiffany Stratton coming along and this other little girl. With the name Valkyria, Eve, Evie, Effie, Valkyria, which I find kind of sus because, like, they had Taya Valkyrie a year ago and then they released her, and now they have this new person with the name Valkyria. So, a little bit sus, but I looked it up. She had a lot of Valkyrie names before, so okay, so I guess it's not sus, but still bad timing. Uh, the last match we got, Braun Breaker versus Apollo Crews. Very underwhelming match. Just ended, like, right there. I don't... I, there was one part where, like, Apollo slams him down, and then he stands right there. He closes his eyes, and the camera zooms in on him. Then he opens his eyes wide, and they do a big zoom out. Like, what the fuck? The entire time we didn't pay attention to anything because me and my friends were just like just ripping on the uh, attire that both were wearing like just making jokes like saying that Braun Breaker looks like the opening logo to Say by the Bell and that uh, Apollo looks like uh, <laughs> what was it? Oh shit, what did the fuck did he say? Like some serial mascot? I don't know, we were just talking mad shit about the retire because we were just having fun. And then it just ended. Just ended like that. And Grayson Walker comes out at the end and does an RKO. So that's our next program for that. So, very short podcast, but this podcast is about whatever. Depends on how long it goes. It doesn't have to be that long. It'll be whatever. So, this podcast is about whatever and ends whenever. So, Enjoy the first episode. See you guys. Bye.